Hey guys, today I want to talk about down payment. The number one question I get every single day when I'm doing loans is how much down payment do I need for a particular loan type? So we're going to go through each of the major loan types. We're going to talk about that. Okay. And then we'll figure out what down payment comes from and where you needed to get it and all that jazz. But a couple things to think about. Down payment assistance, we're not even going to discuss right now. We're going to talk about traditional finance. So first and foremost, conventional. You can buy a home with a conventional loan with as little as 3% down. Now, if you're a first time buyer, you can have as much income as you want and use 3% down. Now, if you're a subsequent use buyer, you can actually get better terms, better rates, better mortgage insurance with that same 3% down on a more affordable product like Home Ready, Home Possible, or Borrower Smart from Fannie and Freddie. Those typically give you lower mortgage insurance, obviously, but you have income caps. So conventional starts with 3% down. Obviously, if you go to 5 or 10% down traditionally, of course, you're going to have a lower payment, but you're going to get better rates typically than 3% down and 5% down because there's less risk to the bank. They're going to support you in that. So that's conventional. Mind you, your grandparents' loan, everyone used to think 20% down was required. Completely not accurate. 3% on a conventional loan. Now, let's talk about FHA. FHA requires 3.5% down of the purchase price. Scores down to 580. From 580 to 500, there are lenders that do those. You can buy a house with FHA with as little as 10% down. So, FHA loans, right? Quote unquote, first time buyer loan, 3.5% down of the purchase price. Now, let's talk about VA. VA, of course, is 100% financing as long as you qualify. Now, if you have a current VA loan and you have entitlement tied up, you can actually go all the way up to your, your max entitlement limit and anything above that, you would need 25 cents on the dollar. So there's plenty of videos that are going to be on this channel that you can watch about VA loans and entitlement. But to give you an idea, VA loan is 100% financing. A USDA loan is also 100% financing. So, you know, obviously they're going to be in select areas in America, more rural, but 80 to 85% of America actually is USDA eligible at 100%. So, you know, there's all kinds of loan types all kinds of parameters that fit within those loan times and what you qualify for. USDA has income limits. They don't have loan limits. Despite what an LO may tell you, there are no loan limits. Ideally, credit score needs to be better. VA, obviously, there is no loan limit. If you have full entitlement, you can buy whatever you want. Conventional, same thing. Right now, the conforming limit is 726,200 in most counties in America. 726,201 is considered a jumbo loan or depending on the county, a high balance loan. So you may need more down than that, maybe 5%, right? So hypothetically, as you get higher and more, go to the jumbo realm, you're gonna need five, 10, 15, 20% down. With jumbo, they tighten up the parameters, they lower the DTI, they make it much harder to buy a house. So not harder per se, but they make you jump through a few more hoops to make sure you're gonna qualify to make that four, five, six thousand $6,000 payment, which is a lot right now with where rates are at. So a couple things to keep in mind. So if you have a question about down payment, that's how it works. now. Where can you derive this down payment? Let's talk about that. So down payment can come from gifts from family, okay? It can come from your 401k, your IRA, it come from stocks. You can pull it out of the bank. Um, you can sell stuff, make sure you track those things. If you sell a car, make sure you get a book sheet and a bill of sale to show where that money came from. The money can come from that, gifts. If you're a real estate agent, you can use your own money in a transaction, right? Family can gift. now. Some loans do not allow interested party transactions. So make sure you talk to a competent lender to talk about those things, about where the down payment can come from. Crypto is very difficult because there's no way to track it. So you almost have to pull it out of crypto, let it season in the bank for a few months and then use it. Otherwise you're gonna be a non-conforming loan. So if you wanna get the best terms and best rates possible, as well as the lowest amount of down payment possible, make sure you do things correctly. So. I suggest you watch my videos here. I suggest you reach out to me. Feel free to ask questions in the comments. Don't hesitate to ever reach out. We can talk about down payment. We can go that route. Now, now that we've talked about down payment on basic loans, there are down payment assistance loans that exist out there. Some programs out there will help with down payment, will help with closing costs. In the state of Utah, where I do the primary majority of my business, we have a bond program that'll actually give you a second mortgage that'll help cover down payment and some of the closing costs. There are other programs out there that'll help cover part of the down payment or all the down payment. We have a loan that'll cover all the down payment. Now, traditionally, you're gonna pay higher rates on those things, but if you can make it make sense financially and fit within the parameters of the program, oftentimes it's a great deal because sometimes that money's forgiven immediately. 
So not saying all the down payment assistance programs are bad and that you shouldn't consider them. Now, your own down payment is always going to be better. You're traditionally going to get much, much better terms. But that doesn't mean you can't look at that. So if you have down payment questions, if you have loan to value questions, you want to know what loan's best for you based on where you're trying to buy, please reach out to me. You can obviously message me through here. Please like, subscribe, and share my channel. Call me if you have questions at 801-979-6365. I'm here to make this an easy process for you and guide you to your next home. Have an amazing day.